Oh, look at that. We got a turtle. Excellent. So we're in Missouri and this is a common box turtle. Really need to see. Now, unfortunately, as soon as you find them, they kind of, you know, will hide in their shells. But one of the cool things about box turtles that other turtles um, don't do is they, you know, they really put all of their pieces uh, hidden within their shells. Uh, a lot of, um, oh, he might be coming out. I'm going to put him back down on the ground here. See if he sticks his head out a little bit. Um, he was starting to stick out his head, and if he's, if he gets comfortable, you know, it, it'd be nice to sort of let him continue on his way. But right, like, this is a very busy road. You never know. Um, uh, unfortunately, we actually have passed uh, at least one turtle that uh, did get hit by a car. So it's, you know, it's really important that as soon as you see these turtles, that you do help them get out of the, out of the road um, in a safe manner. So really need to see such a cool turtle. Definitely too fast for me. Oh, okay. Zeev's calling. Zeev's calling. What have we got? Oh, ho! What do you got? Oh, Zeev's got a blue racer. Whoa! Check that out. What lovely colors. Very cool. Was he under this rock? Yeah. Nice. What a beautiful snake. So this is a subspecies. I don't know if blue is a subspecies here, if it's fox or... Oh, sure. But this is one of the North American racers, and you've seen in our past video that they can be quite variable. The ones that are near home are very, like, greenish-yellow. We had one in Illinois a couple days ago that was all black, and this one is just stunning. Much prettier than, than the ones we've seen before. So, very cool. I've got much, but not bit yet, which I'm surprised. Yeah. So... Look at that belly. Look at the blue along the edge of the belly. Yeah, I was getting excited for a prairie lizard, <laughs> um, but I think Zeev got the better find here. Uh, with a nice, hold out for the big find. nice blue racer, yeah. Wow. Hell yeah, high five. Uh, excellent. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's even worse than oh, no, it's actual poop. That is why I let Z handle the snakes first. So we looked up the range maps and we actually realized that this is a Eastern yellow-bellied racer. And I know it sounds silly because look at how blue it is, but that is what is out here. That's the subspecies, the Eastern yellow-bellied racer. And they really do look completely different from the Western yellow-bellied racers that we have near home. This is a new subspecies for me and a new one for Zeev as well. All right, thanks for all the photos. You can go back under your rock there. Oh. Or into the grass if you'd like. And oh, looks like he's trying to find a way under. Here, come over. There should be plenty of ways under this rock, but. Oh, there we go. Now we found his way out. All right, bye-bye, little snake. Grasshopper, boop. Oh, that little brown skink just moved off there. Here's another brown skink, look at it go. There we go. I love how they wiggle. Well, we're having good luck with these little brown skinks. Here's another one uh, that we flipped in this lovely area here. Uh, yeah, cool. I'm going to let this guy go back under his rock. If he wants to. There he goes. Cool. Oh, 
I had him in my hand. When I tried to scoop him up, he disappeared. All right, guys, I finally caught, oh, he's squirming around on it, but I finally caught one of these tiny uh, prairie lizards. Now you can see they really do look just like fence lizards, but it's a different species out here. Same, uh, same genus, so cool to see one up close. Maybe I'll try to get a macro shot of it. Uh, so you guys uh, can see a little bit better what it looks like. Get out. Oh, there's our little toad that we just flipped. This is an American toad. Let me get him in hand for a second. Um, I hope he's starting to pee on me. If you look, take a look at the body, belly, a lot of dark markings. That's one of the field marks for American toad versus Fowler's toad that can look very, very similar. This one is very, very dark. It's probably a little cold, but excellent to see. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put him back um, under this, oops, under this rock so that he can uh, hopefully stay safe. Eh, maybe he doesn't want to go there. That's okay. He'll find his way. Well, I missed the flip clip, but here is a ring neck. Look at that guy. So cool. It was right under this rock here. I had flipped. I had been recording all day. I have tons of footage of finding nothing, but finally a snake on the board for me. I, see <laughs> all the way back there, but I'm gonna go over and show him this lovely ringneck snake. We may even be able to figure out what subspecies it is. I'm not sure. This beautiful snake I just flipped is a prairie ringneck. You can see if it'll focus for me. Come on, there we go. That lovely bright belly that they have. And sometimes they'll show that lovely red on the tail. These guys are mostly fossorial, so they spend a lot of their time living underground. And so I do see them on the crawl sometimes, but a lot of times flipping is a better way to find them. Um, we've highlighted them on the channel before, although I believe this is our first one of this subspecies. So very cool to see. We're gonna take a picture or two and then let him back under his rock. Let's try one of these and then we'll probably have to get out of here. Yeah. Okay, another uh, prairie lizard. All right, let's go. All right, well, it's a lot of flipping here. I'm thinking maybe I need to find a place with a little bit more moisture. Oh, here's um, green frog. Green frog for you. There's the lateral folds. Here's a nice close up of another green frog. Excellent to see. All right, hop on away. There we go. Swimming in there somewhere. Aha, we got a salamander. Excellent, look at that one. Look at how colorful it is. Oh, uh-oh. We may have lost a salamander already. Oh well. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, we got another snake. Wait, did I drop one? Oh my God, <laughs> I did. Two, a double flip right here. Okay, okay. I need to get the other camera out. Oh man, two ring neck snakes. These are prairie ring snakes out here, but awesome, just had them under that rock right there. Awesome, and these guys, they're, these are a lot smaller than the ones we saw earlier today, but if we take a look at the belly, you can see it's got some nice colors on it, if it'll show you, but nice. I am really stoked, but uh, we've seen this already today, and I don't have a ton of time before having to go to the airport, so I'm just gonna let these guys go right back under their rock. There they go, hidden. This guy, he disappeared. Yeah, he probably went under there. So very cool. <laughs> Two more snakes for the day. Excellent. Oh, dude. Oh, 
whoa, check that out. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is a Western slimy salamander. It is a lifer for me. Um, and one of the species that I was really hoping to find in this area here. And it is a gorgeous one at that. I definitely will take a couple pictures with him and be sure to put his rock back there. Whoa, I am so excited. All right, let me, uh, let me take him out, put the rock back and, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about him a little more in a sec. My goodness, what luck. So this salamander's here. I didn't even see this one here, but I did not flip this log yet. And yet I just poked over and saw that there is a little salamander here. There, uh, he must have been uh, just walking around at night and uh, and finding a little spot. Let's uh, get a better look at him. What excellent salamanders here. Now, they are the only salamanders that look like this in the area. Oh, my flashlight, my headlamp is dying. Oh no, I'm losing light fast, but I got a backup. Uh, they're the only ones in the in the area that look like this. Now all of the slimy salamanders look very uh, look identical, and so you really have to differentiate them by range. But this is the only one out here. Um, and if you check out a video from the last couple days, you'll see that we found another slimy salamander. But that was a northern slimy salamander, and that was found on the other side of the Mississippi here. So excellent to see. I'm going to. I'm just super excited, but we're going to put these guys back now since I'm running out of light and don't want to be hiking in the dark. And uh, I'm going to put them back under this rock here. I already gave them some water and we'll be on our way. And this is an awesome way uh, to end the day. Oh, nice. Okay. Look at that right there. One more slimy salamander for the night. And that one is even bigger than the others. Uh, he's burying in there well. This is a really big stump, so I'm going to take him out before I put the log back. But, oh, yeah, this is obviously a really good spot for them. I'm really happy that I was able to find it. <laughs> this spot is awesome. Super excited. And, uh, you know... I found this all on my own, so it's also exciting for that too. So I'm going to move this guy, and I'm continuing to walk that way, uh, which is where my car is, because uh, i got to head to the airport soon. All right, little buddy, or big buddy, you're huge. Go back under uh, the... Can you get in over there? I think you might be able. Over to over here, 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 here. This, this spot looks good. Can you slink on in? No? I mean, you made it under here somehow. That way? Oh, come on. I don't want to leave you like this, even though it's at nighttime. You'd probably be fine. But is that your, your spot to dig in? There we go. Disappear. Excellent. Oh, this is huge. Look at that. Just walking back to the car and there is another one crossing the road as well. Two copperheads right here. Definitely a good snake for the area. All right, let me get my hook and I'll get these snakes off the road so that they don't get run over by someone. So I already recorded my outro, which I really had a good time with. So this might show up out of order in the video, but nice to see this copperhead here. Wow, we, I mean, we're leaving, but this was definitely a good day. All right, it's just, I can't get the hook under him. There we go. All right, boy. Yep, there he goes, off the road. Excellent. And let's go up and get that second one. What a treat. Wow. All right, yeah, this one's over here. Yep, you're also going the same way I saw it. I know, he turned around when I came out and about. Here we go. All right, nope, you can keep going. Yep, just keep on scooting on. 
kind of, oh, there we go, off the road and on to do whatever you're going to do. Sweet. All right, well, this is just turning in to a really magical night. <laughs> what an excellent conclusion to the day. A new salamander lifer for me. Very exciting. Plus, those two ring necks uh, were really cool. And you know what? I often, um, I know early in the day we just found that one ring neck, but it's sometimes common. I often will find multiple ring necks hanging out together, uh, especially when I'm in the Midwest and sort of eastern states. Not so much in California, but <laughs> really cool. I'm so excited. Anyway, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter, this is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field. All right, I hope I have enough light uh, to make it back to the car. The, hopefully that flashlight doesn't stop working. Woo. Yes!